Hello everybody, this is Mark, and I'm here with a quick and dirty today. Um, unfortunately, this is the third time I'm going through and taping this. The first time my battery went dead. The second time I must not have hit the button correctly. It didn't record anything. Uh, but anyways, uh, to start out with, um, and it's it's half gone now because I've taped this already twice before. Um, this is Malta Goya. It's a malt beverage, non-alcoholic. It's very good. It's very good. My first time ever having it. I'm loving it. All right. So, we're going to do these in backward order now. Um, going with the Malta Goya, let's go with some Latin music. This is, uh, and it's going to be quick here. This is on the... Uh, uh, yeah, Promenade record label. This is Cha 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 and Rumbas by Essie Morales and his Latin Rhythm Orchestra. Then we've got Honeymoon in South America, and this is on Somerset. Uh, and this features the Rio Carnival Orchestra. Then, on a Grand Prix series label, this is South American Holiday. Right. Yeah. From South America to Hawaii. This is on the Harmony record label. It's the Kilima Hawaiians Hawaiian War Chant. Great songs of the islands, it says here on the back. Hmm. This one is in excellent shape. I can't believe how nice this one is. Uh, this is on the Diplomat Records label, and it's called Hawaiian Wedding Song. Then this one still has the plastic on it, but I think I'm going to remove it because the plastic is uh, unfortunately ripping here. Uh, this is on Spinorama. <coughs> this is Blue Hawaii, Billy Murr and his orchestra. Another one still has the plastic on it, the cellophane on it. This is on a wine coat label. And this is um, the Hawaiian Islanders. And the album is called Hawaiian Enchantment. Then this one is on the Sutton label, and <coughs> it's called Polynesia. All right, and we get into some some more right up my alley kind of stuff. This is um, on the Tops Hi-Fi label. This is a group I've never heard of, but I figured I was going to take a chance on it because it's kind of a nice label here, a nice cover, I should say. Maddie Matlock and his Dixie Men, and this is just called Dixieland. Yeah. Then my love affair of the accordion continues. I saw a gentleman who had this uh, a very similar record, and I was teasing him, let me borrow it. Now I don't have to because I think I've, I've got the same uh, album. It just has a slightly different cover. This is on Coral Records. This is Lawrence Welk at Madison Square Garden. Here's another person I took a chance on. Sort of a timely uh, cover art here and uh, an album name. Uh, this is on the Somerset record label. And this is Autumn Leaves, the romantic organ of John Duffy. Never heard of John Duffy, but... You know, autumn leaves. I mean, this well, you can't pick a better time of year to get a record like that. Um, this one has got a great cover on it. It's very clean, and I do like the uh, the person here. I've got a couple of his albums on RCA Victor, and this is it. Also says the greatest choir ever. Uh, it is actually called This Is Norman LaBeouf. 
All right. And then I don't usually go for comedy records, but uh, I'm doing an episode of my podcast, and I needed some material, so I got this one. Uh, the most celebrated new comedian since Attila the Hun. The button-down mind of Bob Newhart. That's on Warner Brothers. All right. And then I've been getting into these records a lot lately. Um, you know, records that are either stereo checkouts or, um, hey, look at us. Look at the fantastic high-fidelity uh, stereo we're creating. And that's exactly what this is here. This is a uh, Liberty premiere series called Spectacular. And uh, if you read the back cover here, it basically is just saying uh, 12 outstanding selections of unprecedented musical and technical excellence from seven premier albums. Um, the Liberty premiere series, startling, brilliant, fresh, unique. So, I mean, they just want to show off. Hopefully, they'll have some you know, left-right channel playing and stuff like that. That would be a lot of fun. Uh, a couple of the groups that are here is the Fantastic Strings of Felix Slatkin, the Cy Zenter Orchestra with the Johnny Mann Singers, the Unique Sounds of the Richard Marion, Mar Marino Orchestra, rather, uh, 50 Guitars of Tommy Garrett, and Bessie Griffin and the Gospel Pearls. It should be interesting. All right, this one is one that I actually have, but I believe this is a nicer... Uh, looking copy, so it's an upgrade for me. Uh, this is on A&M. This is the Sandpipers, and this is their um, self-titled album. But it's in really nice shape, so uh, keep that. Another one that actually is an upgrade as well, Maynard Ferguson New Vintage, and this is on the Columbia record label. Uh, trombone player I really like here um, and I was happy to find some uh, more material about him uh, Harold Betters do anything you want on and it's on the Gateway Records label still has the plastic on it which is incredible great condition alright and a little Calypso music by a gentleman named Blind Blake and this is on the Art Record label um, and, uh, so, that's what that looks like. It says here, a group of, uh, Bohemian songs by Blind Blake and the Royal Victoria Hotel Calypsos. Um, one that I nearly fell over when I saw it. This is crazy, and it's in such great shape, too. On Capitol Records, it, this is also stamped in gold. The Star Line series. Ooh. Billy May. Pow! And it's it's really in nice shape. I can't believe that it was sitting there. Alright, last but not least, um, great jazz singer, but this is more going to be a gospel record by her. It is called uh, Bright, <coughs> excuse me, Brighten the Corners. On Capitol Records, this is Ella Fitzgerald. And that one is the last one. So, there you go. There were my finds. I hope this was quick and dirty enough for everybody. Loving it. Have a good one.